It's time to answer the infinite question. So many people think they know the answer. So many people want to know the answer. Some are right, most of us are completely wrong. And today I will give you all the information and all the differences you need to know between table tennis and ping pong. We start out with some informal definitions of ping pong. What I learned as a kid was that ping pong is a game where you should hit first your own side and then your opponent's side in every shot you make, just like you do when you serve in table tennis. This is not an official game, just something we did after or before practices sometimes. Most common use of ping pong is to, that is the same thing as table tennis. The name ping pong actually comes from the sound that when you hit the ball on your racket, it sounds like ping and when the ball hits the table, it sounds like Pong, and that's why the nickname came up. Historically, people are calling the game where you just play for fun with a cheap bat for everybody, ping pong, and the expensive, serious sport, table tennis. But the reality today is that it's two completely different sports, even if ping pong is a nickname for table tennis all around the world, and in some countries it's almost named ping pong. For example, in China, they say ping pong cho for table tennis. Ping pong cho. And for ping pong, they say shaba, I think. I can be wrong about that one, but as I remember it, it was shaba. The idea that ping pong should be a cheap sport for everybody is what was the inspiration for what ping pong is today. It started with the World Championship of Ping Pong, 2011, the first World Championship of Ping Pong. And then from 2013 to 20, it was every single year in Alexander Palace in London. After this, it took a break because of COVID, but now it started again and it's growing a new ping pong federation and the first world championship with a new federation was played in Mexico this January and hopefully will keep on for many more years. So, what is the difference between the new ping pong and table tennis then? Ping pong is played with sandpaper instead of rubbers and every player needs to have the exactly same racket and between every set you change the racket and the reason behind this is that the material should not be the reason why a player is better than another player everything should be exactly fair it should not have anything to do that you have more money and can buy a more expensive racket it should have nothing to do with that you found what suits you more it's completely fair with this sandpaper racket okay so what is the difference between a table tennis racket with rubbers and with the ping pong racket who have sandpaper instead. The biggest difference is that with the table tennis racket you can make a lot of spin. Depend of, on your rubber of course. There is some table tennis rubbers where you can't make spin but the normal ones you can make a lot of spin. With the ping pong racket you get a very very limited amount of spin. It's still possible to make spin but it's more limited. Another thing is that Many table tennis rackets can be extremely fast and it's a big difference in how fast the rackets are. A ping pong racket is, yeah, it's not slow, but it's a lot slower than the today's top modern rackets. This makes the rallies a lot longer. It's easier to get like great rallies and very spectacular points. So the two big differences, how the rallies looks in table tennis versus ping pong is that one, in table tennis the game is so much more orientated around the service. You can make a lot of different spins and high in the spin which give you an opportunity to win the point directly on it or at least get a good chance to get a good first attack after it. In ping pong where you can't serve with spin it's more normal to get an easy receive and start a rally directly. So it's the service who is the big difference and then the second is that table tennis is so fast so most points is just one, two, three times over the net while in ping pong who is a bit slower it's very normal that the ball goes 10 times over the net, 20 times over the net and it's a lot of long rallies. With this said, will table tennis players, no matter if they are professional and completely world class, have no control in their attacks first times they try ping pong? The reason for this is that it's a lot less grip in the racket. So to be able to have control in your attacks in ping pong, you need to let the ball come really close to the racket before you accelerate and you need to have a really open racket angle. Even if the basics of table tennis and ping pong rules are the same, there are some differences in the rules. For example, in table tennis nowadays, we play first to 11 and you need to win every set with a difference of two points at least. So if it's 10-10, you play first to 12 and a set can keep on forever. In ping pong, we play a set first to 15 
and uh, if it's 4th in all, it's still only one deciding point. First to 15 wins the set. Another difference is that in ping pong, we have something we call yes. double point. One time per match, if it's a best of three match, you can call for something we call double point. This is only possible to do in your own serve, and it means that if you win the point, you get two points instead. If your opponent wins the point, he will only get one as normal, so it's a chance to take an extra point. Now you know that the differences between table tennis and ping pong is basically that in table tennis there are thousands of different blades, thousands of different rubbers who can create different speed and different spins while in ping pong. Everybody have the same sandpaper racket so it should be fair for everyone. If you learned something from this video and enjoyed it, please leave a like and if you still think, no Anton, you're completely wrong, please leave an angry comment about this and tell me how wrong I am, even if I played the World Championship of Ping Pong two times. And the truth is that the World Championship of Ping Pong in London is probably the best experience I have in my career as a sportsman.